Once upon a time, there was a boy called Jack. He was very lazy. He was also very silly. One day, Jack's mummy looked out of the window and saw him lying under a cherry tree with his mouth wide open. Jack, what on earth are you doing? called his mummy. I'm waiting, said Jack. Waiting for what? said his mummy. For a cherry to fall in my mouth, said Jack. Oh, you lazy boy, said Jack's mummy. Tomorrow I'm sending you out to work, that's it. And the very next day, Jack's mummy sent him to work on a neighbour's farm. If you work hard, she said, the farmer might give you a reward and maybe even ask you back again tomorrow. Well, believe it or not, Jack actually enjoyed working on the farm. And at the end of the day, the farmer gave him five shiny pennies and told him to come back the next day. But on his way home, Jack played with the pennies throwing them up in the air and catching them over and over again. And as he crossed a bridge over the river, the pennies slipped out of Jack's hands and tumbled into the water. When he got home, Jack's mummy said, Well... Did the farmer give you anything? Yes, said Jack. Five shiny pennies. Well, where are they? asked his mummy. Oh, they're in the river, said Jack. And he told his mummy what happened. Oh, you silly boy, said Jack's mummy. When the farmer gives you your reward tomorrow, um, keep it safely in your pocket. At the end of the next day's work, The farmer gave Jack a jug full of fresh milk. Jack was just about to carry the jug home when he remembered what his mummy told him. Keep it safely in your pocket. So Jack poured the jug of milk into his pocket. When Jack got home, his mummy said, Why are you holding an empty jug? And why are your pants so wet? I did what you told me to do, said Jack. The farmer gave me a jug full of milk and I kept it safely in my pocket. Oh, you silly boy, said Jack's mummy. When you get your reward tomorrow, carry it carefully on your head. Well, you could do that with a jug of milk, couldn't you? I mean, some people are really good at carrying things on their head. But at the end of the next day's work, the farmer gave Jack a big round of soft, creamy cheese. Mm. And Jack remembered what his mummy told him. Carry it carefully on your head. So that's exactly what he did. But of course, in the hot afternoon sun, the soft, creamy cheese began to melt and dribble down Jack's face and plop onto the ground. Until by the time he got home, all the cheese was gone, except for bits stuck in his hair and smeared all over his clothes. What on earth have you been doing? asked Jack's mummy when he got home. I did what you told me to do, said Jack. The farmer gave me a round of soft creamy cheese, so I carried it on my head. You silly boy, said Jack's mummy. When you get your reward tomorrow, hold it firmly in your hands. But 
At the end of the next day, the farmer gave Jack a cat. And when Jack tried to hold it firmly in his hands, the cat scratched him on the face, jumped out of his hands, and ran back to the farm. What's happened to your face? asked Jack's mummy. The farmer gave me a cat, said Jack. I held it firmly in my hands, just like you told me to, but. The cat didn't like it, and it scratched my face. You silly boy," said Jack's mummy. "When you get your reward tomorrow, tie it with string and pull it behind you." Hmm. Well, I suppose you could do that with a cat, couldn't you? I mean, you could tie some string gently around its collar and lead it like a dog on a leash. But next day. The farmer gave Jack a big joint of fresh meat, and what did Jack do? He tied it with string and pulled it behind him along the dirty, dusty, germy ground. Well, of course, Jack's mummy. She had to throw that joint of meat out. I mean, you couldn't eat it. It was dirty. It was filthy. Then she said. When you get your reward tomorrow, carry it on your shoulders. Which is a very good idea, if you've got a big joint of meat to carry home. Except, the next day, the farmer didn't give Jack meat. He gave Jack a donkey. And I think you can guess what he did. He carried it on his shoulders, but on his way home, something very surprising happened. As Jack was passing the royal palace, who should be looking out of the palace window but the princess? Now, you need to know something about this princess. Since the day that she was born. She never once laughed, or even smiled, and she never spoke a single word. Her father, the king, announced that anybody who could help the princess to smile and laugh and speak would receive an enormous sack of treasure. Well, when the princess saw Jack. Sweating and panting with a donkey on his shoulders, it was such a funny sight that, slowly, slowly, for the first time in her life, she began to smile. And then, she laughed. And then, she spoke. Daddy, Daddy, come and see this silly boy, Craig. The king called out of the window, "Boy, put that donkey down and come here immediately." Uh oh. Jack thought he was in trouble. So imagine how happy he was when the king gave him an enormous sack of treasure. And imagine how happy his mummy was too. And imagine how they all lived happily ever after. Oh, oh, oh.